afternoon, dudes and dudettes. This is Due Diligence here. And first of all, I gotta thank you guys for watching the video from last night, this morning, question mark. I think it was uh, yesterday in the afternoon. It means a whole lot to us, especially for those of you who sub, so those of you who like the video, those of you who comment. And please, 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 if you have any question, please comment down below. You can ask us about anything, anything about Torch, you know. What are some other strategies that we've been using for the past weeks? And, you know, just ask us questions or just leave a comment. And whether you support us or hate us, it's to it's totally great, okay? Let haters hate. But at the same time, so when you guys support us and, and give us all these heartwarming comments, that means the whole world to us, guys. And girls, and girls, we actually have female watch. Uh, we have female viewers, too. I, I got really excited. Because, you know, any... Uh, any nerdy, uh, you know, uh, any nerdy uh, single Asian stock kid who just like basically day trading all day and do stock research, we get excited a little bit, you know, when when there are some uh, some good ladies watching. So as I talked about yesterday, um, oops, that's Valorant, G Inc. The short squeeze hasn't started yet, right? And here's the proof, guys. Look at. So for all of you that believe Fintel, okay, I think Fintel is a really good website. On um, except I didn't have subscription yet, I might or might not get one, because uh, I can also fetch short data from on um, the main terminal on um, in Python uh, about my, my program. And 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 I think one of you asked questions about my program. I'm thinking about okay, guys, give, give me leave a comment below, right? Here's here's something. I I know all of you will watch at least three min minutes into the video, so I gotta put it here. So um, leave a comment if you guys want a Q&A video on Torch, like I'm going to talk about, you know, answering all your questions from last video, for example, like a short covering, like what does it mean? Are they required to cover their shorts? What are the time frames? Like what does it really mean to like days to short on a lot of parameters? You know, what are what do short vol volumes mean? Like is call options in Torch right now really worth it? Because the only call options uh, for those of you who think it's going to go up, on um, are trying to get a cover call or just trying to buy call options is it really worth it is it worth it to to hold it or to buy the call option right because for call options you have unlimited leverage basically and you have an exponential sort of like a curve of how to get a better return but at the same time sometimes the premium is too high it's not really worth it and you know leave a comment below like do you guys want a q and a section or do you want a q and a video that you know, if you guys said yes, or a lot of you like click likes on the video. How about this? If if this video reaches, let's say, 80 likes or maybe 100 likes and we got more subscribers or if just a lot of you leave a comment below, be like, please, 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 guys, just just um, do a Q&A video to inform us or educate us on how, how short squeezing and how short covering and how selling short actually works. Or you just want a video that I answer all of your questions from the previous video instead of like just click on reply and just do it on a video format please leave a comment below and all right let's get into this so as you can see the short increase the, the short interest actually increased for the past week guys the 11th right all the way until now that's that's uh, 13 days like 1.5 weeks of trading days guess what yeah it's true look at this so so you can see the volume you can see volume gradually increase right volume gradually increase and then drops down a little bit you see it drops down a little bit when people when a lot of you know a lot of you sell or who, no nobody on my channel sell okay like we know what we're doing and then volume increase volume increase volume increase and then decrease a little bit decrease a little bit decrease uh, increase a little bit so well, how, how it works how how the short volume works is essentially a short sellers are are looking at how we are battling them okay like it, it, it's like a psychological battle like if a lot of us fold and sell they're gonna short even more why because it's just like a cascade effect okay like one person fold the other person's like ah maybe he's wrong but when two or three person sell, it's like one of those stories when my mom used to tell me, it's like one person going to the mountain and said there's a tiger or a wolf and he came back and nobody believes him. And then somehow he managed to give two other people $2 for telling a lie and tell everybody that there's a tiger or a wolf in the mountain and all of a sudden everybody believes it. It's the same shit. So if one person sells it, if one person decides to sell, no biggie. 
But if a hundred persons uh, decide to sell, then it's biggie, right? The, the stock is going to drop down. But anyways, as you can see, the short volume actually increased over time because they know, okay, they know like when merges, when merges end, they have to cover like for sure they're required because the torch does not exist anymore, right? By the time a merger closes, torch does not exist anymore. According to you, what, thank you so much for one of our viewers and sub, I think, um, he told us that it's MMAT, I think, according to his research, the ticker is going to be that. So this stock will exist on the NASDAQ on, in the US market, and this will just you know get terminated. So when it got terminated, that means you're basically open up a new book, and whoever want to short this new stock got to go into a new book to, to, to sell short instead of, you know, the sell short actually trends or no, it doesn't because it's a termination basically on the business term is termination of a sort of like a business already. But anyways, for those of you who are saying I'm cheating for like always posting my video after a market, be like, oh, you already know what happened. All right. Today, uh, I'm just going to do it in mid market. Okay. So when I actually started recording this video, this is like my second try because I'm too lazy to edit. Uh, I drew the support line. Uh, so my prediction is by the end, which is going to be, you know, one o'clock for us who are on the West Coast of today, uh, or like I think three o'clock on the East Coast, what happens is, uh, is going to be uh, something, is, there are two scenarios and I give them probabilities. There's 60% chance that the stock price is actually going to stabilize at $5 all the way until 12.30, which we are around this point, right? Like it fluctuate, like, all right, let's just say uh, 4.96 to five bucks, okay? I can just fluctuate it until 12.30. And then on 12.30, um, either people start shorting or some stuff, people start selling or impatient or whatever. And then the stock price is going to drop it's going to drop to about 487 to 490. And then the stock is going to close. It's going to close at 492. So as long as we have a green day today, buckle up for Monday. That's all I can say right now. Okay. And then you have another chance. So we have, we have two probabilities, right? 60% probability is the 4.92 close. No. And then one of the other one is a bit less likely. Okay. You have 40% chance of having a close at around like $5. What the hell just knows is if, if this stock co closes at $5, that means most likely a lot of people is going to buy an aftermarket and we're definitely going to see a gap up in, uh, in Monday. Um, but then it's not really worth it. And there's always a cost to short a stock or to buy a stock. For us, the cost to buy a stock is the time value that it doesn't go up and the time value and the actual value when it depreciate. But for hedges, for, for them, the cost of not letting a, a stock temporarily drag down or immediately go up is there is there a capital so if you have a million dollars right if you just have a million dollars and you put in one stock like one day it doesn't go for up for one percent you're actually losing money because you can put it in somewhere else so for them how do you make it worth it to to put their money like to to basically park their money in here and just sort of hold it for a longer period of time is they create a, a price difference so in here what will happen is is they would, you know, maybe sell short over here and then drop down to my price point, which I said it's going to be uh, 487 to 490. And then it's going to go up a little bit to 492. And then in aftermarket, you know, people buy in and tomorrow, a Monday, it's going to be a gap up, right? But this is a 60% uh, probability. Another probability is a 40% probability. But I don't think, like, most of the retail players in this game is not, doesn't have a bigger heart in the, or have stronger diamond hand. So then there's, it, it's gonna like repeat what happened to AMC like a couple of weeks ago. So we all know, right? We all know $5 is an important point. Even though there's no there's no gamma strike, in, I'm gonna explain gamma strike if you guys want it. Leave a comment below. Like there's, the key gamma strike is $5 if there's actual an uh, option expire today. But we don't trade weekly options on this. We only trade monthly options for this. So it doesn't really apply. 
But in our invisible heart or in our brain, $5 is like a psychological battleground. If we stabilize this around $5 today and then we trade it flat, so right now we're trading sort of flat, right? So if the momentum always trades flat, that means there are people selling like around five, there are people buying around $4.99. Like if it's just doing this, this, this all the way, all the way until market close, that means, that means, that means the sentiment, the general sentiment for TRCH is bullish. Right now for us, we know that we're bullish, right? But for a lot of people who are just swaying and who, for a lot of people who dumped like a day ago, two days ago for them, like they're just watching where the price movements go. Because we all know that Monday there's going to be a, like an influx of money into the market because a lot of people like to close their account on Fridays. Uh, and that's also like just some seasonality in the market right now, right? So the second probability is the 40% probability where it stabilizes and closes at $5 which I say is less likely than the first one. Because we always see, we often see, we always see a huge price movement around 12.30 to, um, to 1 o'clock. I mean, on my time, which is PST. And right now we're just trading flat. Like everything else is also trading flat too. So, um, so yeah, this is my prediction for today in terms of Torch. Um, before market closes. See, I'm not cheating. I always make predictions before market closes. And, you know... I'm not jinxing any. I'm not jinxing anyone. Okay, I'm just saying this is this is what I think <clears throat> is possible and and uh, and everything. So please leave a comment if you have any questions or you know or what. How about this? You guys just leave a comment on uh, about you know any questions that you want to ask about. You just want to say about Torch, whether you like us, you hate us, <laughs> and also leave a comment about <clears throat> what do you think the price of Torch is gonna be on Monday. Like when mark, Monday market opens, and maybe you know I will do some math magic. If there are a lot of you who comment, we actually can can have our own YouTube channel sentiment analysis, and even maybe we only have around a hundred subs right now. We can actually use that to aggregate the data into the entire market and to see whether we're gonna be correct or not. And if if we starting from now, if we start polling shit, and then we're always correct, that means essentially our channel have a strong base of people who a have very good determination, have very good, like our our decision-making process is actually more, better than a lot of people, other people's channel. So for those of, of you who are just coming in, you you guys have something to hold on to. You have something to, you know, you know, based upon your, your decision-making upon. But anyways, I have to, sorry about my English. My, my mind is, is scrambling now because I've been coding while trading at the same time. So I'm trying to make a, the program that I was, was talking about the other day on... Uh, you know, leave a comment if you want me to talk about it. But anyways, disclaimer. Yes, I have to say disclaimer, right? Disclaimer, we are not financial uh, analysts. We are not financial. We are not financial advisors. We do not give financial advices. And every say we, everything we say on this channel is for shits and giggles and for entertainment, and for entertainment purposes only. All right, guys. See you guys on the upside. Have fun before the market close.